It's time for a cooking adventure. Hey guys, today I will be making a Japanese dish called katsudon. It's more popular as like a pork dish, but I don't have pork, so I'll be using chicken. Just a little disclaimer. Number one, this is not a tutorial. I don't know how to cook Japanese food for shit. This is in fact number two, my second attempt at making katsudon. So, if you enjoy cooking, you might enjoy this video. So here are my ingredients. I have my breaded chicken breast, which I have already breaded yesterday. This is a leftover. I have my eggs, my onion, and some teriyaki sauce. Actually, I don't think this is the proper thing to use. I think you're supposed to use mirin, dashima, sake shit. I don't have that, but I guess this could work. I am gonna chop my onions. Please don't judge me. <laughs> I do not know how to chop onions the proper way. You know, the chef way. I don't know, man. I just go with what works. And as long as it's palatable for my taste. A typical katsudon dish calls for some onion in it. As a personal preference, I don't really like the onions to be too cooked through. Oh my god, this looks so messy. Gordon Ramsay would be so pissed. I'm gonna try. Hello, I'm here. <sighs> Man, this is really awkward having just one camera to record. I am gonna try breaking an egg with one hand. Can you do that? Can you? Can you do that? I find that it's kind of challenging. Oh my god, this is a disaster. I don't like where this is going. Oh yeah, one hand baby, one hand. Next egg. Oh yeah, one hand again baby, one hand. It is time to fry the chicken. Who doesn't love fried chicken? I love fried chicken of all varieties. I love the fried chicken from KFC. I like the fried chicken from Borenos. Getting sidetracked. Back to the stuff. Let's turn on, turn on. Whoa! Oh my god, that was so dramatic. The oil is heating up. Is it ready to be flipped over? Maybe yes, maybe no. Let's check. No, not yet. Oh shit, my chopstick skills seem to be a bit... I don't know. Don't you think that sizzling sound is so therapeutic? It's done. Gotta chop them up because this is how they do it. Do you hear that crunch? My goodness. Now, it's time for the challenging part, which is cooking the egg. It's not really your regular cooking method, at least not for me. So, <laughs> I hope I don't screw it up this time, because yesterday I screwed it up. I didn't add water, not supposed to. So first things first, water. This is very important. Oh my goodness, am I doing this right? I don't even know, am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? Teriyaki sauce. Onions. I know. <laughs> this thing is like oversized. I know, I know. I am aware of it. Don't be surprised. Don't go on telling me, Uy, itia, basar juga tu yang bikin tutup tu. Yes, I know. I'm aware. Is this too much water? Oh my god. So the egg is cooking. I don't know if this works. I think I put too much water. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm trying to save the day. Okay, I think I saved the day in the middle here. It's time to plate. Of course, you will need your rice. I guess it's not too bad. It's time for a taste test. So, I think I pulled off the chicken breast kind of okay. Let me taste it. I think the taste is pretty authentic because I used the teriyaki sauce and it's not like your typical kicap, kicap manis eh, kicap masin kind of thing. So there is definitely a Japanese palette going on here. But texture wise, I think I kind of screwed it up. Because I panicked about the um, the part where I put too much water. I thought it was not cooked yet, 
but actually I just put too much water so when I drain the water into the sink it turns out that the egg was already almost fully cooked and actually you are supposed to put the chicken on top when the egg is just halfway through cooked so that the chicken and the egg can bind together and in my case it didn't bind due to my unfortunate mishap I'll do better next time so all in all it's great to be able to make this especially when you're craving your Japanese food but you don't want to blow off your money so this is it for my cooking adventure or should I say cooking misadventure it's more like a cooking misadventure but who cares hopefully the next one I won't screw it up I hope to make more of these in the future this is actually really fun to make and I love cooking personally I love 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 cooking give a thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe if you'd like to see more I'll see you in the next video